So hi, this is Dr. Hi, this is Dr. Jim Anderson from Anderson Center for uh, Chronic Pain and Neuropathy, and I'm here with Naomi, and she's uh, about two, three weeks, about three weeks out from having restless leg surgery yes. and doing quite well. You want to say anything first before? Because really, we're going to show you with an ultrasound. We're using ultrasound diagnostically, that is, to look at her nerves, and we do this before we do surgery to open up nerve tunnels to reverse. Uh, restless legs and you can really see on the ultrasound the compression that's taking place inside of her legs because these nerves get very compressed and we really believe that for many people it provides opportunity you know to open up these nerve tunnels and then reverse the restless legs so uh just tell us real quick how how's it been it has been great i can sleep no okay. more fighting with my leg Good. i it's amazing and you got better right away. Right away. Didn't you? Okay. Right away. So how much better would you say the left side is? I say ninety nine point nine. Ninety nine point nine. Yeah, I that much say better. That's how much, awesome. How much better? Yes. And so you're anxious to get the right I'm one. I'm so anxious. I, I'm okay. ready. I'm okay. ready for the next leg. Yes. So I'm gonna pan down here, folks, and these are two of the incisions. There's one here. This is a nerve tunnel. That's a nerve tunnel. Common perineal nerve, superficial perineal nerve. And then the inside of her calf is another one up there. But I'm going to go over here because we just got done examining this nerve tunnel. This is called the common perineal nerve. And I'm going to scan over here because where this nerve comes down and it takes care of all the nerves on the top of the foot. And it is part of what gets compressed. But if you look over here, this is her ultrasound. And I'm going to kind of point this out, but this is the nerve. That would be up towards the hip joint, and that would be down towards her ankle. The skin is here, and this area right here is a muscle that this nerve goes beneath. So what we do, we measure this nerve, and you can see, we haven't finished measuring it, but this is the nerve before it dives beneath this muscle compartment. This muscle compartment gets very tight, and we can measure the dimension here, and you can see down here the nerve is smaller. And when we're in there as surgeons, we can actually see this, but it's fun for the patient to see this because they can appreciate the compression that's taking place. So there's also compression back in this area uh, that we uh, is part of what we also open. But my point is a lot of it tends to be around the entryway to what's called the lateral leg compartment, and that'll be opened up. This is, there's sheath over the muscle, there's the muscle, and then there's sheath under it. And basically we open both those sheaths and, and retract that muscle back to give uh, give that nerve a little break so it doesn't have so much compression. So uh, it's been really great working with you. You're doing really well. Hopefully we can give you the same success on the right yes. side, Naomi. So, right, I'm ready. Uh, we're going to do this next week. So yes. for those of you watching, if you have any questions or comments, please uh, we ask that you do that and consider subscribing to our YouTube channel. And as always, we like to thank our patients for taking the time to do this. So you take care. Thank you. Okay, bye.